As the state begins to reopen, there's a great deal of planning in light of new social distancing requirements. Many of the downtown businesses in Springfield are restaurants, but there's also retail and the casino to consider. Carol Lee McGrath spoke with Chris Russell, the executive director of the Springfield Business Improvement District, to find out more about the plans and the impact of COVID-19. Okay, so we're, we've stayed in contact with uh, the majority of business owners in the downtown. Um, we're working with them. Uh, we did a grant program that helped with rent assistance. The second wave of that will be a gift card purchase program that we'll use in a marketing plan when things get back to whatever the new normal is to attract people back to downtown. Um, so for now, the local community uh, has supported these businesses, uh, whether it's through takeout or whether it was donating money to purchase meals for first responders. So we've done a lot of different innovative things to, it doesn't replace the business that they lost, but it certainly softens the blow to some extent. Um, we're working with the city. The city's been fantastic. Uh, we've been meeting on a, on a weekly basis to figure out innovative ways uh, because the majority of the small businesses that we have here in downtown are restaurant type businesses. And our anticipation is when they do get to reopen, it's going to be with a limited capacity. Uh, so we're trying to expand their capacity by using the outdoors. So we're looking at different ways to do that. Um, and I think one of the things the bid will help is uh, when these restaurants are able to push into the outdoors where they normally couldn't, we'll provide the infrastructure that's needed for that. Uh, tables, chairs, umbrellas, that type of thing. So uh, we're just looking at different ways to get them the support they're going to need. And so that's phase two, right? That that would be June 8th. And I know that, that some, some communities have been talking about even like shutting down uh, parts of streets. Is that is that something that's being discussed? Uh, it's been discussed. Um, street closures, the businesses are spread out. Uh, so street closures, it's not like we have a street that's got 14 restaurants on it. And so I think the, the urge to do that in, in the right area, that works. Uh, I don't think the way where our businesses are located, that necessarily works. And it may work for a business location which will be looked at individually. But I think the general consensus is to maybe take back parking spots in front of the businesses. So you still have the street traffic uh, able to flow through um, because multiple street closures comes with a whole host of different uh, expenses and, and, and things that are, that are required. So uh, I think taking back uh, the parking spots and allowing al fresco dining in front of the restaurant um, a, a couple things have to happen in a coordinated basis. The, the state's ABCC has to uh, remove a restriction as far as amending a, a liquor license, pouring license. Uh, the city will have to uh, figure out a way to issue a, an occupancy permit for public property. Um, but we're working together. We're you know working with the law department, uh, the DPW economic uh, planning department to try to figure that out right now. So as a matter of fact, we have a, a, a meeting next early next week on that as a, as a follow-up. So I, I think that is going to come to fruition. And, and when you think about um, reopening on June 8th, the casino doesn't come back in until phase three. So how are you planning uh, for that and, you know, hoping that people are going to be coming back for that? We're working, you know, one of the things, uh, We've offered a lot of support to MGM since their opening, and uh, they've been fantastic partners. Uh, it, whether you know or not, we we were producing uh, with a local partner all of their uh, outdoor music shows uh, on their plaza. Um, so when they get back into the swing of things, uh, we'll do whatever we can. Um, they've been a little quiet right now, but we know they're not till phase three. Um, and they'll have to cut down their occupancy just like the restaurants will too. So again, just making sure the visitor experience here is a, is a very positive one. Uh, we'll do whatever we can to support that positive visitor experience. So, Tell me about some of the projects that are still ongoing in Springfield. Uh, there's some great projects. Uh, the Willie's Overland building, which was part of the, the gas explosion. Um, there, it's a sister. There's two buildings like it, it was built as a Willie's Jeep dealership, uh, I believe early 1800s. It's a fairly unique building. 
because uh, it was built as a dealership. There's indoor parking. Uh, there's a group of investors that are still working away at that. That's going to become 60 new, uh, very high-end, beautiful market rate units. I just actually toured the, the site uh, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, that is still on schedule for the most part. Um, the I know on Market Street, uh, plans are complete. Permits have been pulled to do one of two buildings that they're talking about converting from office space into uh, apartments as well. So that's that's great, great news because the more people that live downtown, uh, the easier it is to support these businesses. So uh, like I said, Willie's Overland build and I think we'll have a floor done uh, and they'll start advertising those for rent uh, in September, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we're continuing on. Uh, we did the cafe style lighting, which we were kind of <laughs> right before the COVID, we were planning with uh, Andy Yee and the folks at the fort to do a big unveiling of our architectural lighting that we've done the entire length of Fort Street, uh, which is, we didn't get to do that, but it's actually going to be fantastic because they are one of the restaurants that are looking to potentially close that street and do outdoor dining in front, uh, you know, to expand their, their seating footprint. Uh, so that'll add to the ambiance. Uh, we're actually meeting with two property owners tomorrow to do a project very similar, and that would connect uh, Nadim's uh, with the Mass Live building and that plaza, which will create another path of lights also from Main Street over to the municipal complex. Um, we're in the process of doing all of our landscaping projects right now to make beautiful, you know, downtown more beautiful for when folks do come back. Um, so we're just trying to be as prepared as we can be for uh, the eventuality of things, uh, you know, coming back to some kind of normal. What's your expectation? I know at the be beginning of this, I think some economists uh, were hoping or hopeful that maybe there'd be a snapback with the economy. Um, some people might be cautious, but I think there's a lot of people that just can't wait to get out again. Uh, what do, what do you uh, think? I, I, so here's what I believe. I, I, no, I, and I can't quote my source, but it was on one news program or another, or I read it somewhere that American savings rates have like quadrupled in the past two months. And it's not because people have been more careful about saving their money. It's because they don't have an outlet to spend it. Uh, and, and what I know from personal experience, from talking with friends that were trying to get a reservation in Connecticut, because we, as you know, the restaurants in Connecticut opened this past weekend. Uh, Memorial Day weekend, and you couldn't get a reservation anywhere. So I think there's a lot of pent up demand. Uh, you couple that with the occupancy being cut. I think all the restaurants are going to be for a period of time uh, as busy as they can be. Um, I'm not an economist and I don't know, you know, if you have a hundred seat restaurant that's limited to 25 versus a 400 seat restaurant that's limited to a hundred, I don't know the economies of scale for the individual businesses. Um, but my expectation is there is a lot of built up, uh, pent up demand for, you know, people wanting to get back out there. We're social for the most part. And there will be a small percentage of the population that this may affect long term, but I think most people want to get back to their regular business.